فعاش القلب إخلاصا وصرت تحومك الطير تحلق في ثقافات وتنهل من روبا الخير My mothers and sisters look I'm going to address an issue that there is a crisis regarding in today's world What is it? It is makeup You know makeup? You see no one said yes because they know Did you hear that? I tell you something Makeup, I don't want to talk about the use of makeup. I want to talk about the abuse of makeup. Abusing it. Today, people are abusing this in such a way that their hearts become so attached to it that their own identity is an insult to themselves. That's the problem. Stop it. Don't go to that level. Within limits, okay, fine. Let it pass. But it becomes beyond the limit. Every day you paste two inches of icing on your cake. That's not good. One day it looks like a strawberry cake. The other day orange cake. The next day banana cake. Every day a different type of a cake. What is this? That's what I'm saying. Your husband will kiss someone else. Because you say, hey, wait, 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 my lipstick. Hey, my lipstick. Don't touch, don't touch. How can you keep on doing that? May Allah forgive us. So this is why I say... There needs to be some form of a limit. Be happy, content with what Allah has given you. That's my face. That's my body. Allah has given me. I try my, my best to maintain it. It doesn't mean, oh, I'm a Muslim, I must lose my body. No, you maintain it. You can also participate in the exercise, perhaps in the gymming within limits. I'm not just... I'm not promoting gymming in a haram way where, you know, it's free for all and suddenly hijab and whatever else is all disregarded. No, but there are permissible ways. You can do it at home or with a group of your own sisters and so on. But you look after the body and then you say, Alhamdulillah, Allah gave this to me. Someone somehow, somewhere will love it. And this is why I strongly encourage between spouses, between children and parents to praise one another's physique. Come what may. Just look at your spouse and look at them and look at them again and look at them and start smiling. Subhanallah. And just say, hey, MashaAllah, Tabarakallah. Can't believe your mind. Can't believe it. But you need to look. And you need to look really like this, you know. Allahu <laughs> Akbar. I promise you, when you learn from each other, when you appreciate each other, you help each other. You help clean the heart because then your spouse knows you appreciate me for who I am. You don't appreciate Mac instead of me. You understand what that means? Sometimes a man will come and say, wow, you're looking stunning. It's not me looking stunning, it's the Mac on me that's looking stunning. <laughs> Be honest. Allahu Akbar. May Allah forgive us. My brothers and sisters, I've overshot my time. But then again, it's Zambawanga. You know, it starts with a Z. So we are from A all the way to Z. They put me in the last speaker because I also come from Zambawabwe. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us.